Hello everybody, so today I'm filming a little video for Halloween. I'm going to do two Halloween makeups. Um, so one is takes a bit of time but is quite easy and the other one is quite f quick and easy. So I hope you enjoy the video. If you like it, like, um, subscribe to my channel and comment down below if you have anything to say, any video suggestions or anything, don't hesitate. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoy. Right, so as you can see, I've already put my hair, hair up and a hairband on. Um, I have already put a tiny bit of concealer under my eyes. And we're going to start with the first Halloween makeup. If you don't usually put a uh, moisturiser on your face before you do your makeup, you especially want to do it when you do these sorts of makeup. Because it will really dry out your skin if you're not careful. So I've already put mine on. Um, we're going to go ahead and start. So I've got a little glass of water so that I can wet my brushes. And we're going to go ahead and start with the black bits of the makeup. Because that's just how I find is easier. I am using Classic Face Paint by Snazaru. That's the one. And I'm using a tiny little brush. Makeup, just a artist makeup brush. I got it from a local art shop. So, and I'm gonna start by the eyebrows. Now for white. Just got this little pot of compact white sort of creamy texture sort of makeup. Um, so I'll leave all of the links to go check them out down below. So you want to take quite generously. And so I'm starting by the forehead and I just go in and dot and twiddle around. and it more or less makes the perfect dot so you want to do this all over your face So as you can probably see, I'm not being precise or anything, they're all different sizes, they're all different spaces in between each other. Um, by the way, I'm using this tiny little brush. It's just a normal makeup brush. So 
so for now I'm just gonna leave that area free because I'm going to do like a tear sort of puddle sort of thing under my eye so for this I'm going to use this brush and this product face paint So we're going to take the same brush as earlier for the black outer line with the same product. We're just going to finish the white dots and there we go for the white dots now I'm going to do the lips so I'm going to use this brush and I'm going to use the black from earlier. I'm going to advise you to put some lip sole on first. I've already done it. So we're just going to do the, con the contour of the lips with the black. Now I'm taking the L'Oreal Paris lipstick. In number seven, say my name. So it's like this. And just do the inside of the lips. So it's not finished for the lips yet, we're going to go back to the white and uh, take the same brush and just make a lot of a mirrored point. So I'm just taking what's left on the brush. And just patting it on. So last but not least, I'm just going to put some mascara on and that will finish the look. So today I'm using the False Slash Superstar Red Carpet Black by L'Oreal Paris. So there we have it for this look, um, it's sort of a cartoony sort of look, um, so a bit girly for Chris uh, for Halloween, not too terrifying, um, so yeah, don't hesitate to try it out and the products are down below, so go ahead. Now for makeup number two, first thing is concealer. So today I am using the Match perfection by Rimmel London so it's this one in number 010 ivory now um foundation so this is going to be uh quite a light um, foundation so I'm going to take my normal foundation and I'm going to lighten it so today I am using the Universal Fit Hydrating Foundation from Kiko in number warm beige 30 so I'm lightening it with the shade adjusting drops from the body shop so as you can see it is really really light
so now we're gonna fix it um now for eyebrows so we're just gonna do them as usual so as always I'm using the Kiko precision eyebrow pencil in number 05 So now we're going to do the eye. So we don't actually have to do too much to the eyes. I'm just going to put a light uh, browning colour on them. Um, and then mascara and full side lashes. I'm using the Moi Makeup Academy eyeshadow palette Address Me Too. So I'm going to use this one just here, the Obsessed. So I'm using a round headed brush. Here we go for eyeshadow. So as earlier I'm using the same um, mascara. So today I'm using these false eyelashes from Kiko in it's actually number 01. Obviously uh, false eyelashes are optional. So I'm just going to add a little coat of mascara to like blend them together. So now for the actual Halloween bit. So you actually need some fake blood and a makeup brush. And we're going to put it underneath the eyes. Sort of just drag it down. Now I'm going to do lips. So my lips are already moisturised, um, and you really want to do it because it's going to be a matte lipstick. So today I've got this one from Maybelline New York in the colour 885 in Midnight Merlot. I'm going to use this brush so as you can see it's quite dark. So you could either leave it, leave it like this if you don't want it if you don't want it to be too dark, but I'm going to colour it in to make it darker. So there we go for the lips. So we're going to take the fake blood again, and we're just going to put a little bit on the, there, just there, on the outer corner of the lip. If you want to make it, a make it a little bit more extreme, then we can go in with some lipstick. So there we have it for this look. So this one's a little bit more gory than the other one. So there we have it for today. If you liked this video, then give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and comment anything down below.